pinhead, Rosilla. A man carved for a banana. In my opinion, you're not a man at all. Ah, ghostly images of my hellish workmates haunt me even here. Ah, never mind, Des. She probably doesn't like you. They think I'm nothing, but I'm not. I'm a hero, trapped in the mundanity of the estate agency business. I'm, I'm a star. They don't know. Do you know, Miss Monroe, things could have been so different between us if we'd met another place, another time. That's a remarkably stupid statement, Rosillo. Why? Why is it? Because in my opinion, you're not a man at all. I am. Anatomically, I am. Mr. Bowen Edwards. Now there's a real man. He does nothing for me, love. I dream about him. Yeah, so do I. In my dream, we stand and watch a train pass. A huge, vibrating, pulsating, throbbing train. In my dream, he's sinking slowly in quicksand, and he's reaching out, hysterically begging for help, and I ignore him. He says, I've fallen in love with you, Miss Monroe, and kisses me tenderly on the station platform. Well, that reminds me of something, a, a, a film. So I said to him, if you don't have that seed too, you'll be blind. And he said to me, Mark, you're business, you silly old cow. I said, I'm sure I don't have to feed you a loot. Excuse me. Perhaps I could be of some assistance? Oh, I, I've got something in my eye. What is it? You know, one of those round, soft, rugby ball-shaped things you see with. Ah, yes, how foolish of me. May I take a look? I am a doctor. Doctor? Do you have a fork? Yes, thank you. Would you mind giving me one? Closer look. Do I have anything ahead back? Well, your neck's all right, anyways. Uh, can, can you see anything? Oh, yes, I have 20 20 vision. I, in my eye, I mean. <laughs> of course, how uh, foolish of me. Well? It appears to be a foreign object. It's not British, then. Oh! oh. oh. Say, I'm so sorry. Oh, 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 no, it, it's quite all right. But I have to take your eye out. No, no, honestly, don't fuss. I have another. That's a railway fork, that is. I'll have to charge you for it. I can't use that on me, Bambillies. <laughs> it was clumsy of me. No, it, it was most kind of you, anyway. Thank you. Are you sure you're not a docker? You take the sun, give me the moon. As you look at me, you say I'm a fool. I'll take the night. You keep the day, you can only get used, it's the only way. Don't wanna walk, just wanna run. Rock up the door, left it's just some fun. Part of my nose with the mirror and pose. Piss in the sink, put on my clothes. I need a car, we need a room. I need someone, someone like you. If you get it right, you take a bite. City at night. Buses at night. Out of the town, out of my mind Open the doors and turn it in Get to the bar, stop pouring it in I need a car, we need a room I need someone, someone like you If you get a bite, you take a bite City of night
Right, I'm off down the pub. Are you coming? No, I don't think so. Suit yourself. Don't feel hurt, Ronald. You know, I love our outings to the pub together. On occasional visits to rugby football matches. <laughs> that time your cousin Francis spelt the boys' way, took us to Barry Island Fun Fair in his puce coloured Ford Green. No. No, I didn't know you loved them things, no. Perhaps I should have told you more often. What are you talking posh for, anyway? Oh, I get it. You've picked up with some tart, haven't you? No, I wouldn't put it that way, no. Aye, aye. I know that look. Like someone's just hit you over the head with a poker. Well, I... I may have met someone. You haven't told her you're a lawyer again, have you? Of course not. Don't be so ridiculous. What sort of man do you think I am? That's all right, then. I said I was a doctor. What do you know about doctoring? Well, I watch casualty, don't I? Don't wait up, Desmond. I'm planning on making a night of it. Okie dokie.
Oh, hello. hello. How's the eye? Well, I've had a glass one put in. Do you like it? Yeah. May I join you? If you like. What made you want to be a doctor? What? A doctor? Ah, oh, <laughs> yes, a doctor. Well, it was a childhood dream of mine. What was the dream about? About being a doctor. Oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> Do you specialise? I have a childhood fascination with parasitic diseases of the brain. Tell me about parasitic diseases of the brain. Well, it's a vast and fascinating subject. The, the range of microscopic creatures involved. I mean, you wouldn't believe it. The symptoms are... I'm not shocking you, am I? Oh, no, not at all. Good. You see, I thought the llama was indigenous to South America, but it's stopped, you know. There are many yaks in South America. The yak, as they say, goes yakety yak. Now, that sounds like a childhood sort of thing, but it's not. That was first discovered by Professor Juan Lego Barak. And the, the, the roots swell up until they stop. Really? How interesting. Let's go boating on the boating lake. Yes, let's. And I can run the boat aground, because I'm a silly little woman, and you can push it away from the bank in manly fashion and then fall into the water. And I can get soaking wet, and we can take shelter in the old boatman's hut. Who will make us some hot tea and let us sit in front of his brazier. He... he doesn't wear a brazier, does he? I, at least I don't think he does. Never mind. We'll get warm some other way. Shagging, mind. I'll have no sh shagging in my hut. Of course not. What sort of people do you think we are? Sh shaggers. Really, we're not. One rocking motion, one filthy noise, one moan of ecstatic pleasure. Yes. And I'm coming in to watch. Go away. 
you disgusting little pervert. All right, all right. <laughs> Come on, trigger. You know what's happened, don't you? No. What? I've fallen in love with you. Oh, that. Dare I hope? Could I hope? Could I dare to hope that maybe... I've fallen in love with you, too? Well, no, no, that's not exactly what I had in mind, but... Can I get back to you on that? Darling, you're wet. It's just water, honestly. Is it raining? No, I, I set your garden sprinkler off whilst climbing over the fence. Let me take your coat. Oh, I can't. It was a present. We can't go on like this. Why not? Well, we're not making any sense. <laughs> Quick, this way. Oh, this is so sordid. Go on, my love. Jump. Oh, Aye, aye. You were entertaining. Oh. What, and now I've become a bore, is that what you're trying to say? Uh, no, no. All right, then. Yes. You've had a woman in here. What gives you that idea? I was peeping through the keyhole. Good God, what sort of a pervert are you? What choice have I got? I'm going to my room. Why? 
because it's the only way I can get there. It must end. You know that. Eventually, yes. It runs into the sea somewhere near Milford Haven, I believe. I can't bear all the lies, the treachery. Not to mention the broken bones and poked out eyes. And I can't bear to see you like this. All done up in bandages. You remind me of a mummy, an Egyptian mummy. It frightens me. And then there are the children, of course. What children? The ones over there, playing. Ah, yes. Do you think God has done this? To test us? No, I don't believe in tests. Neither do I. I've got to go. I've got a train to catch. Be careful. I shall never forget you. I shall never forget myself. What will you do? I've been offered a job in Jersey, potato picking. It's only seasonal work, of course, but it's too good an opportunity to turn down. I love you. You're so honest and good. Yes, I am, aren't I? I don't blame you for loving me. Take my hand. Oh, I don't think I should. The train's moving. In. Take it. You, you see, I told you, didn't I? Goodbye. Goodbye, my love. Think of me. What? What did you say? I said, think of me. But I bought it Harrods in the sales. Only ten and six. Hey, I know you, don't I? You're the man who's hanging around the men's urinals last Wednesday afternoon. That'd be ridiculous. Anyway, the men's urinals are not open on Wednesday afternoons. <laughs> Who's that boy with a honey face? Looks like he should be sedated. He's all smash and grab in his Adidas tag. Wound up and agitated. And I bet he's not a real punk boy. Bet he's not a real punk boy. Bet he's not a real punk boy. Does your heart go boom when he walks in the room? Do rain clouds scatter and fall? Do your feet outside when he passes you by? Or do you go a hundred feet tall? Go bang, shang a -lang. Every time you see him you Go bang, shang a -lang. Every time you're near him you Go bang, shang a -lang. Every time you hear him If you don't, he's not a real punk boy If you don't, he's not a real punk boy If you don't, he's not a real punk boy at all That boy with the ocean green eyes In rough trade every Saturday Don't eat up cute in his 80s track suit I wish I hadn't thrown mine away And I bet he's not a real punk boy Bet he's not a real punk boy Bet he's not a real punk boy Do the stars explode when he walks you home On a cool and clear evening Do you want to put him on like your favourite song Or never want to hear him Go bang, shang a -lang. Every time you see him you Go bang, shang a -lang. Every time you hear him you Go bang, shang a -lang. Every time you hear him If you don't, he's not a real punk boy If you don't, he's not a real punk boy If you don't, he's not a real punk boy at all I've decided to have my mother put in a home. Congratulations, Mr. Bowen Edwards. Yes. I'm sure you're doing the right thing. You can't live it out in the garden forever, can you? No. Especially not now it's winter and the nights are drawing in. So which home are we going to have a put in? Well, the young couple who've moved into the street behind us, they both work. I thought I'd leave her in their shed and... Well, they'd be bound to take her in, do you think? Well, undoubtedly, Mr. Bone Edwards. Mm. <laughs> I've had enough of her. I mean, she was handy at first. Get the birds away from the seedlings, but... Well, often I can't sleep for her shuffling about the bushes. 
Try to keep warm, probably. Well, I suppose so, but my wife needs her sleep. Beauty sleep. Is it Mr. Bowen Edwards? Good God, no. She needs to sleep permanently for that. No, she needs her sleep so she can shut up. And your mother wakes her? Yes. Did try a few shots with the old air rifle, but, well, it's dark out there. Blew the nose off Jeremy the Gnome one night by mistake. And he just missed his rod. That would have been a tragedy. Ah, oh, leave her in the neighbor's place. That's a logical answer, isn't it? Maybe they'll find some use for her. Terrible thing, isn't it? Organic brain disease. Well, it's a jolly good job. None of us have got it. <laughs> oh, well. Back to work. <laughs>